It's been 59 years since my mother Alta died, but of course she still influences me. I was 14 when she died. I hadn't asked her nearly enough questions about her life, but I still had great aunts who knew her her whole life and passed some information on to me. Now I want to make sure that those stories are preserved. I want my younger brother, my children, my grandchild, and possibly generations to come to know these stories and to know more about her. This is the story of how my mother Alta, following the death of her mother when she was nine, made her decision and her escape from a tumultuous childhood with her sharecropper father and unkind stepmother in rural Arkansas in 1936. I think that um, Mother had been writing to Aunt Nora and saying that she would like to leave, that she wanted to leave home. And as I understand it, Aunt Nora and Babel would not uh, let her come until she was 18. So it would be legal, I guess. And when she turned 18, Aunt Nora sent money, I believe, and I don't know if it was sent directly to Mother. I'm guessing it might have been sent to Aunt Bertha. And I've been told, so I think this is true, that Mother got on the back of the mail truck, and so I'm guessing maybe she walked down the lane and maybe that's where the mailbox was, I don't know, and got on the truck with the mail carrier without her daddy knowing, without uh, Dosha knowing, and ran away. I don't know what she had with her, but I think she was 18 by then but had never been anywhere farther than Ravenden, I wouldn't think, which was this little crossroads near Aunt Bertha's house. So I believe she went to Aunt Bertha and Uncle Homer's, and they took her to the train. Uh-huh. 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 Sometimes you just want to lay on the track. Uh -huh. Give up the fight. Wait for the rumbling, uh -huh. feel the cold steel across your back. Not uh -huh. care what's coming, but you can't do that. Gotta uh -huh. get on the train. And we know, I know that the, I mean, somehow kept in all these papers is the ticket. And it was $16.40 and six, and 40 cents or 60 cents. And she, and she rode the train and she had to go through St. Louis. And there's a letter from her that she's, or it's written on like stationery that was found on the train, like maybe in the dining car or something. And so she writes Aunt Bertha and said, I think it's Aunt Bertha, and says, this is where I am now. Don't think I'm just talking to everybody, but this really nice lady showed me how to get to the next train. I could just, Ooh. I mean, it's just so moving to me that my mother had the courage to do that and that she just did it. Uh -huh. Roll through the troubles in the pouring rain, uh -huh. baby, don't you let it get you, gotta get on the train. Uh -huh. Uh -huh.